middle school, an ordinary school filled with ordinary kids with all the ordinary problems of growing up. But in my case, life was anything but ordinary. You see, I was raised by bugs. Get the picture? Out of the ordinary fairy tale without the fairy. A family that seems a little scary. Digital timer feature will make sure I brush long enough for maximum dental hygiene. Now you're sure you'll be okay by yourself. You won't be scared. I told you, I'll be fine. Just remember, there's no Mr. Scary Face hiding in the closet. Mom, I know. And I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. That's the Holly Roller spirit. Well, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the Chemex like Delirious bite. Daddy! We're only a phone call away. I get it. Goodbye. And now, with one flick, I shall unleash the awesome cleaning power of my new electric toothbrush. <clears throat> I said, with one flick. That's weird. Froggykins, don't you, Creepy? Uh, we've never met. One lamp or two, Mr. Fluffy Bunny. My lamp doesn't do that. If we just ignore it, maybe it'll stop. Now, I know you remember Mr. Fluffy Bunny. Yeah, sure, but what's up with the lights? And the TV. It's definitely not Mr. Scary Face. Who? <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> I mean, must be a new electric timer my dad put in but forgot to tell me about. Daddy can be so absent-minded sometimes. Can the timer make your computer type by itself? Uh, nope, and neither can Mr. Scary Face. Uh, I mean, he couldn't even if he existed, which he doesn't. <laughs> Drig Noops Bluffy. What does that mean? I think it means let's go downstairs for... Ah! Oh, uh, uh, a snack! Ah! So how about some of my famous sugar cookies? They're super sweet and super yummy! You know, Chris Alice, I think something's going on here. Right. We're talking about cookies. <laughs> now... <laughs> Like what? Maybe uh, an electrical magnetic uh, disturbance of the sun. <laughs> Creepy. Yes. There's only one logical explanation left. It's Mr. Scary Face. Who is Mr. Scary Face? You know, he's a ghosty thing that haunts houses. Not that I'm scared. I'm a holly roller. Or maybe. Hang out a minute. I want to check on something. I thought 
thought it might be you. Ah, hey, creepy. Want a bite? It's 14-gauge silver-plated copper. Try this. No, no thanks. Hey, come on. He's a tubular braid. Uncle Jerry, I know you love electrical wires, but could you please eat somewhere else? You're really freaking out, my friend. Hey, 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 not just me. Don't look at me like that. I had a little help. A little? You brought your whole colony. Creepy? What's going on in there? Uh, I'll be right with you, Chrysalis. That's my friend. Look, you better leave before her father, the Exterminator, comes oh. home. Oh! Red alert! Everybody out ASAP! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, stay calm. Stay calm. Get in line. Oh, this ain't gonna be easy. Exterminate a man, he's got this house sealed up tight. Yes, he does. You know, it took three hours for us to squeeze in through one little hole. I'll help you get out, Uncle Jerry, and your colony, I promise. Creepy, I thought I heard voices. Is it Mr. Scary Face? Uh, uh, yes, I saw him. Don't come in the kitchen. Misunderstood ghost who just wants to be friends. Well, that depends. How do you feel about a friend with giant fangs and three eyes? Ah! Oh, I'm calling Daddy! Come on, Chris Alice. You're a holly roller, remember? Oh, you're so right. I've got to handle this myself. Oh, but how? Everyone knows there's only one way to get rid of ghosts. With an exorcist. Exorcist? Yeah, one of those mystical people who makes ghosts go away. Where am I supposed to find one of those? I... Uh, I know an exorcist. You do? Absolutely. I'll call right now. How's it going? Slow squeezing. We'll squeeze faster. Her father might be home soon. <laughs> Come in. I sense strange vibrations from the great beyond. That's amazing. How can you tell? Well, Madame Bourgeois, since he's all. Madame Bourgeois, we really need your help. Can you rid this house of Mr. Scary Face? <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Madame Bourgeois is channeling spirits. The power of Mr. Scary Face is strong, but the power of Madame Bourgeois is stronger. Now, close your eyes, my child. Wave your arms and say, What do you seek, Mr. Scary Face? What do you seek, Mr. Scary Face? Uncle Jerry, what's wrong? <sighs> Disaster! The rain flooded our only way out. Okay, follow me. Can you hear me from the great beyond? Speak to me, Mr. Scary Face! This way! This way over here! Do you hear that, Madame Bourgeois? Mr. Scary Face says he's over here! Keep your eyes closed, my dear. Madame Bourgeois will now free Mr. Scary Face from this dimension. I feel him. I feel his vibrations. Very good, my child. And now, repeat after me. Open the channel of freedom. Open the channel of freedom. The fresh air. Is he gone yet, Madame Bourgeois? Not quite, my dear. See ya. That's creepy. My child, you may open your eyes. Mr. Scary Face is gone forever. Oh, thank you. And 
Now my spirit work is done. Madame Bourgeois must return to the uh, mystery of the night. Oh, Creepy, you're my bestest friend ever. Always glad to spend quality time with you, Chris Alice. Oh, look at our little Chrissy. Snug as an anthrenous scrofularia in a rug. See? I told you I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. That's what makes you a holly roller. Well, good night, sweetiekins. Afraid of the dark? Then don't let red fire ants in your house. These ants are drawn to electric currents and love to gnaw through the insulation on wires, causing lights, air conditioners, and other appliances to short out. Hey, Uncle Jerry! down the dark corridors of time to the age of the ancient Egyptians. Hello. Hello. What? I can't... This is a bad connection. I've read that although the ancient Egyptians lived over 4,000 years ago, they were totally advanced in engineering, math, and science. If they were so advanced, then how come I can't get a signal in here? Dad, they obviously went outside to call people. Another trip to the museum, and still, Dr. Pappas never mentions anything about insects' role in history. Get this. It says here that this pharaoh's tomb has been perfectly rebuilt down to the last detail, including rotating walls, trap doors, and even a hidden treasure room. Lunch. have you heard a word I've said? Oh, you were talking about lunch, right? I was saying it would be nice if Pappas included some bugs in our history lessons for a change. Thousand-year-old mummified remains of the ancient pharaoh Kefer Ra. Kefer Ra was named, as were many pharaohs, after the ancient Egyptian sun god Amen Ra. You'd think, being king, someone would have told him about the importance of moisturizer. Yeah, Doctor Pappas, how come the mummy's wearing a dung beetle on his necklace? The ancient Egyptians worshipped dung beetles. They observed the dung beetles crawling out of holes in the desert sand and believed that the dung beetles were magically resurrecting themselves. Wicked. Amazing! Though not as amazing as the fact that our teacher just said dung three times and nobody laughed. <laughs> Now, on to the embalming exhibit. Whoa. Bug worship. At least the Egyptians got it right. No way! Bug worshipping would totally put my daddy's extermination company out of business. And that's a bad thing? Plus, you know, if people worshipped bugs, then who would worship supermodels? <laughs> The ancient Egyptians not only worshipped bugs, but get this. An ancient legend claims that while Kefir Ra was being mummified, an evil priest put a curse on him so that his soul would roam restlessly for eternity in the body of a dung beetle and that his mummy would rise from the dead when the sun meets the moon. Who ever heard of a bug having a soul? Who ever heard of a bug not having a soul? And how could the sun 
meet the moon, everyone knows the sun doesn't come out at night, because then it would be daytime. I think sun meeting the moon probably means an eclipse. that gust of wind didn't just happen, or that it didn't sound like a mummy moaning, or that I'm even still talking about a wind that sounded like a mummy moaning. Hey, guys, where did Dr. Pappas go? How could he have gotten so far ahead so fast? Come on, I can hear Dr. Pappas's voice coming from this direction. To go back the way we came. Hello? Why are the walls moving? The cedar wood extract in turn contains strong preservatives that took immediate effect and induced the process of mummification. Um, wait, wasn't there a door in that wall just a minute ago? Stay calm, everyone. I'm sure we can find the way out. If only I brought my digital compass. <laughs> Creepy, where are you going? As long as we're moving, I don't care where we're going. Uh, guys, we might want to be careful. It says here there are over four miles of secret passages in this tomb. If you're not paying attention, you can find yourself totally... Speaking of Budge, where is he? Oh, well, that was lucky. Hopefully it goes to the gift shop. Later, we will visit the treasure room where Kefa Ra's mother is said to be buried. Kefa Ra chose to be buried near his dear mama. Like the devoted son he was, reminds me a bit of myself. Budge told us about. <laughs> you call this treasure? Uh huh. Did you see that? left yet another throne of Kefir Ra. And that concludes our tour. 
Stragglers, you're lucky you didn't get lost. I can't believe you guys actually thought the mummy had come to life. Yeah. <laughs> When the sun meets the moon, mummy's curse thing. Totally. Still, it would have been neat to meet a real pharaoh who worshipped bugs. Oh well. No more dawdling, students. Come along. Egyptians weren't the only ones who loved dung beetles. Farmers today think they're fierce, too. Dung beetles dig in the dirt, moving nutrients around and making the soil richer for plants to grow. It's a dirty job, but some bugs gotta do it. <laughs> 